So this is Gwen. The purpose of this screencast is to show you how to use the go to page based on answer feature in the new Google Forms. So a time when I, this might be helpful is an example like this. This is just a Google Form that I made as I was playing around. So for example, you have a staff potluck coming up. Well, maybe you, your first question would be, do you plan on joining us for the staff potluck at the end of the year? Yes or no? Well, if someone says they don't plan on joining, then do you really need to have them go through and tell what they're going to bring to the event? No, probably not. You could just go ahead and end it there. But if someone does say that they are attending, then it would be nice if you have them specify what they plan on bringing. Um, one thing I just noticed is I certainly want to add a question here with their name so we know who is coming to the staff party, right? Um, so what I would say here is you'll have to go ahead and insert in sections so that you have you can go to page based on answer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and insert in the section down here about the foods they're bringing to the potluck. So to add a section, you'll notice over here in the toolbar it says add section. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And you can see here it added a new section. I'm going to have to rearrange a little bit here. But this is going to be called food items. Now, do you plan on joining us for the staff potluck? That actually needs to be up here in the first section underneath the name. And then the second section is where we have the food items and they specify what they're going to bring. So you kind of have to get it set up first. But then I want to show you how you can, depending on how they answer this question, do you plan on joining us, yes or no, how you can decide whether or not they see that next section. So when you're on the question that determines whether or not they go to the next section, you click on these three dots down here, your more options, and you want to do go to section based on answer. Go to section based on answer. So then it pops up these questions. Okay, do you plan on joining us for the staff potluck? Yes. If they say yes, then I want them to go ahead and go to the food items. If they say no, then, well, I don't want them to stay in the same section we are or to go to food items. If they say no, I think it'd be okay to send them right to submit form. So again, depending on which one they choose determines whether or not they answer specific questions about what they're bringing. So let me show you what that looks like in a live form. So let me go ahead and grab the link. So I'm going to hit send, grab the link. And I'll show you, depending on what they answer, what it will look like. Okay, so here's my Google form. And I just noticed the name is down at the bottom. Let's see what's going on here. So name is at the top. And yeah, it should be there. Let me refresh. Okay, I'm not sure what happened there. But you can see here the name's at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my name. And do you plan on joining us? If I say no, I want you to see it's going to say next. And then it takes me right to submit. I don't even have to say what food item I'm bringing because I'm not going to the potluck. Let me go back. If I say yes and then hit next, it takes me to the question about the food items and then I can hit submit. So the benefit of using the go to page based on answer, go to section based on answer, is that you eliminate the need for people to answer questions that are not applicable to them. So just a quick recap of how we did that. You want to go ahead and put in all your questions, and then you add sections by using this toolbar here on the right by clicking Add Section. Then to turn on for specific questions, whether or not you go to a section, we clicked on these dots here on the side. We chose Go to Page Based on Answer or Go to Section Based on Answer. And then you can decide here, beside each answer choice, depending on what they say, where do you want to send them? So it's very easy to do, and it's helpful for eliminating questions that don't apply to specific people. Thanks. Have a great day.